Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. How's it going? So um, I have the Harry Potter um, Scentsy newest um, release, the Warmer and the Honey Dukes collection. I am so excited. I have opened the box, but I haven't sniffed. Um, I am so excited. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, I am also a Ravenclaw. Is anyone surprised? I'm just wondering if anyone's surprised. Um, hubby is, um, Gryffindor. So I'm kind of fraternizing with the enemy, but whatever. I'm a Ravenclaw. Can't expect anything else out of me, I guess. Um, anyways, so if you guys want to, I know it's late. Other people have posted and um, hauled this already, but if you want to know my opinion, then let's just get right into it and have a snipperoo. Um, okay, you guys, so first things first, what am I drinking? Well, I am drinking a, oh, hold on, um, I am drinking a Pinot Grigio, um, super light, um, citrusy, peachy um, vibe to it. It's a dry wine. It's not sweet, um, but it's really refreshing. I truly, truly enjoy that. Um, and then... I have to remember, I have to find my glasses because I forgot to look up the scent notes for this perfume that I'm wearing. Um, so the perfume I'm wearing is Oriana by Perfume de Marley. Um, super cute bottle, you guys. I mean, how freaking adorable and girly is this bottle love it um so this one is let's see here um top notes are mandarin orange bergamot and grapefruit middle notes are orange blossom raspberry black currant and base note is whipped cream marshmallow musk and ambrette so to me this kind of gives me the vibe of love don't be shy from killian but it also kind of um, there's a tartness to it, and I think it's the bergamot and grapefruit, but so pretty and sweet and girly. Uh, it's so good, so good. So what is the remnant, the orange blossom, the marshmallow, the whipped cream, like that has the love don't be shy vibe, but you know, the bergamot, black currant, um, the amber, like the, so amber is like a musk mallow that kind of gives it a, a bit of a different vibe than Love Don't Be Shy. Beautiful fragrance. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm about like here. There's not a whole lot, well, there's a whole lot left, <laughs> but I do wear this one a lot as well. I, you guys, I love my perfumes. I have a lot of perfumes and I do wear them a lot. So when I, you know, whatever. Anyways, so that's, um, Oriana from um, Perfume de Marley. Um, you can get these at like Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't know if you can get it at Macy's. Um, and but I will I will link it. I will link where where you can get it online if you want to purchase it online. Or I'll I'll link the notes from Fragrantica and it'll tell you the different stores that you can go to. So. All right, you guys, let's get into um, these scents. I ended up ordering, I ordered two of these just because I, I wanted two of them. And it's just super cute. It's like a big wrapped candy and <laughs> it's so cute. So these come with four scents. So freaking cute. Um, and you're just gonna, this twists. I did it wrong, but it twists 
and then you untwist it to get the scent out. And I don't think this little plastic, nope. And then they're just going to slide these out. So let's sniff these four beautiful fragrances that I am so excited about. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Okay. So first one is Cauldron Cakes. This is uh, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and, and spiced vanilla cake. Um, I do pick up a little bit of the spice. It's light, you guys. This isn't bad, but it's light. So, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to, because, um, like I want to smell, I want to melt one now and see how it works. And I want to hold on to one. I also did put two of each of these into my club. Um, because sometimes Scentsy bars, like with Vendor, do really well when they've been curing for a little bit. So especially when it comes to bakery, like I feel like bakery needs a little longer time to cure. So I'm really okay with holding on to these and not even melting either of them right now and like waiting a few months. But this is, you. I do pick up the cinnamon sugar. I do pick up a little bit of the vanilla and some spice. Um, it is like a spice cake. But very light, you guys. So, hmm, makes me a little sad that it's so light, but it makes me so happy. Ugh. Like, I, I don't know if you guys struggle with like themed things especially if it's something you absolutely love um uh, like just because it's harry potter themed doesn't mean i need to have it and keep it in my club but on the other hand it absolutely means i need to keep it and have it in my club whether it's good or not but i just oh i don't know all right um, next one is exploding, exploding bonbons. This is juicy orange, white chocolate, sweet vanilla burst from candied pineapple. This one I'm excited about because this is kind of different than what I feel like Sensi has done before. It smells like they're orange and pineapple. Like I'm not picking up any white chocolate. It's very citrusy. It's very citrusy and pineapple. Um, I'm not picking up white chocolate and I'm not picking up any vanilla. So once again, this is going to have to be something that I let sit and hang out for a month or so and warm it on warm. The white chocolate and that vanilla will probably come to life. But in the meantime, all I'm smelling is citrus. Um, and this kind of gives me uh, what, not Havana, maybe Havana Cabana vibe. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's Scentsy's orange and citrus, so I, I don't know. Next one is Fizzing Wisbees. So this is chocolate dipped strawberries sparkle with apple, melon, and sugared coconut. Um, the apple, you guys know, is going to... It's scary for me. So we'll see. Okay, this is fun. This is fun and different. I like this one. Thank goodness for the chocolate. There's a little bit of chocolate in the strawberries. Um, the melon is not bad and the coconut is light. And puppy is probably going to bark. 
I don't know if this what if this guy is for me or not. I don't know. Hold please. Okay, wasn't for me, but I just had to wait and see where he was going. Um, okay, so this, the picture I have in my head when I smell this is like the edible arrangements that have the pineapple and the melon. So it's like you, you've you opened up the, bo of the box of the edible arrangements and you have the chocolate dipped fruit, but then you have the other fruit that's also there hanging out. That's the vibe I get one with that. It smells good. I enjoy this one. So this one is fun. Um, I think with a little more cure time, it's going to be a little stronger so far. So far, so far, so good. Um, and last one is a sherbet lemon. So this is... You guys know you know. Um, sparkling sugar uplifts bright notes of orange, lime, and candied lemon. So there's that. This is one of Dumbledore's favorite candies. And it was his password to get to his office. Oh, this is really good. This is not giving me cleaner vibes because of the sugar in here, which is really, really nice. Yeah, that candied lemon. This is like a like a lemon head. Lemon drop lemon head is what I get. Almost lemoncello. Um, very much, oops. Very much a really sweet, really pretty scent. So cool. I'm glad, glad to have that. Cool. Well, I am excited for these. Um, I mean, the box is cute, but I'm not going to keep the box. Um, so, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Super cute, super fun. Take the other ones out. All right, you guys. And then we have the warmer. This is what it looks like in the box. Um, I'm excited for this warmer. I do have the original Hogwarts and I do have the, um, the Christmas one. And so then this will go right next to it and it looks like this is an element warmer so it will be interesting to see what the wattage is on this bad boy I have not watched any videos because I did not want to um, I didn't want to be Spoiled. Oh, maybe it's not an element warmer because it came with this guy, which I have not seen before. So, but it doesn't say on. Usually it tells you. 25, 25 watt warmer. So, got the light bulb. Sorry, this is just kind of all over the place, isn't it? Woo! Ah, that was scary. I opened this up and it hit this. And can we talk about how cute this is? Oh my goodness, that is freaking adorable. In the pages. Ah, so cute. Ah, I'm gonna have to move my wands. When I figure out what I'm gonna do, I'll take pictures and or post a video or a quick short um, to show you how I set this up and where I put it. Um, oh my. Oh, cute. And this is going to go like this. Seems very 
Okay, well, I mean, this doesn't, this just comes out really easy. Like there's nothing stable about it. So just be forewarned, but it does have the little notch right here. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause and plug this in so we can see what this looks like. All right, you guys, so I got it plugged in. This is just not very convenient, but whatever. So here we go. Oh, that's cute. And then you have uh, the lights. Oh, so freaking cute. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. So cute. It looks good on the wall too. I know. It does give you the stars on the wall. Oh, okay. You can open that back up. Just need to try not to die. Yeah, don't die. <laughs> So that is the Harry Potter warmer. That is the um, the scents, which make me really happy. So fun to have these Honey Duke scents and uh, Honey Dukes. Um, so that well, there's Michaela. Um, No, you don't. Yes, I do. Ooh. Yeah, she's gonna like. She's gonna like it all. Anyways, um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will leave my Sensi information down below. Um, my website. I I just kind of sell Sensi to myself. Um, I'm not a pusher, and I'm not. Um, I'm not a very good consultant to anyone else except for myself. And even then I'm not very good to myself because I, there's a lot of stuff I miss and I'm like, wait, when did that happen? Wait, how did I miss that? So, um, anyways, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys, um, it, I hope you guys are having a great day. And, um, if you did get the Harry Potter collection, do you love it as much as I do? And once again, do you get stuff because it's part of a collection you love, whether it's a good collection or not? Riddle me that, Batman. So, all right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.